everyone, today we're going to be opening, setting up, and cleaning up some of my favorite sets from American Girl. So if you are new to my channel, welcome, be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to be notified every time I upload a new video. I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me these items so I'm able to open and review them on my channel. And this video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can get an overview of the items so they can decide what they'd like to purchase. Today we're going to be taking a look at my three favorite sets, the First Class Airline set, the Jenny's Ice Cream Truck set, and the American Girl Hotel and Spa set. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first set. I just removed the packaging from the set, so now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the American Girl Airline. So the set itself is separated into two different pieces. There's the chair and then there's the plane item. It's made out of a plastic material and it's surprisingly quite a small accessory set, which is really great for storage as well. So the plane itself is purple, but there's also some gold detail and that matches the different accessories a part of the set as well. There's quite a few different features. We'll be taking a look at those as we set up the set, and I'll be adding in the different accessories and talking about the items as I set up the American Girl Airlines. So let's go ahead and take a look at the outside of the plane before we add in the accessories. The outside of the set is mainly purple, and there's some detail along the top and side, and we also have a window as well. There's this large box right at the bottom of the outside of the plane, and that's where you're meant to attach the battery so you can access the different features. I've already placed batteries in the item, so we can take a look at the different features later on. But in order to cover that, the set does come with this wing attachment. There are a few different clips, so you're able to clip it onto the plane. And in this section, you can lift up so you can access the battery once the item is in place. It says American Girl Airlines at the front and we'll just clip it in, and once that clips in, it should be able to stay like so. Over towards this side of the plane, it features some of the different controllers. This is not one of the interactive items that are featured in the set, it's just meant to be for display. So this screen here shows a few different options. There's flight info, cabin surface, systems, just to name a few, and then we have some more buttons here. For example, it says meal beverage, off, and then night sleep. So we have this side as well, it says AG, there's a few different buttons, and then there's a holder for a phone. So here we have the phone, it's made out of a plastic material and there's a holder so I'm going to hold it so it stays in place. And then there's also this item, this is another attachment that's a part of the set and you just have to push it in and it clips in and this is perfect for displaying different accessories and items you don't want on the main part of the plane. And now it's time to go ahead and add the different accessories and items to the plane itself. So there's a total of two overhead compartments at the top and they do open and close. This is really great for storage for different bags, purses, and accessories too. But I'm going to be placing an item that is a part of the set since there's no bags for suitcases and it is a pillow. So it says American Girl Airlines, there's a star design at the bottom and this is the logo and this logo is featured throughout the different accessories and items in the set. So we're going to place the pillow over here. That seems to fit and stay in place. I'm going to close it and it should clip shut. And I'm not going to add another item over there. I'm just going to close it and leave it like so. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features over here. So there's a clip and this does open and close. And this is a really great place to display the headphones. And as for the headphones, there is one that does come with the set. It's silver and it's purple and gold as well. And they're styled exactly like classic headphones from American Girl. So I'm going to display them like that. And as for this here, it is a light and it does switch on using the interactive feature. So there's a total of four different buttons. The first one is the light button and that switches it on and off. The second one is for the TV and there's a total of four different slides to choose from for the TV. As for these two, they're actually speaking buttons and I'll be adding in a few different items over here. So first off, we have a controller for the TV. It doesn't actually work, it's just for display, but there is a clip at the back. So you can attach it to the clip over in this section and it seems to stay in place and you can of course remove it at any time and place it back like so. As for this section, it does lift up and it's meant to be for the drink. So it lights up when you lift up, which I think is really interactive. And then it switches off when you close it. This is really great for drinks. There's a total of three different drinks a part of the set. First off, there's some orange juice and they're all styled as cans as well. The second one is pink lemonade. I think this is my favorite option out of the three. It has little lemon slices at the front. And the third one here is apple juice. That can go right towards the other side and it fits all three can options and it closes like so. Right next to the TV, there's a window. So there is a shade. You can choose to have it open or closed. Right now, it's completely open. That's the furthest it'll go or else you can have it shut and you can have it completely closed like that. Either you can have it where you just look out to the view that you have through the window like that, or else you can use one of the slides they have. So there's one slide option, but it's double-sided. So there's two different options to choose from. 
So this one shows a sunset scene of a city, it's so pretty, or else this one shows clouds. So I think I might do the cloud option. There's a small opening at the back. All you have to do is add it in like that and you can see the cloud and it actually looks like you're in the sky. Right now the TV is completely blank so there's nothing on it, but there are four interchangeable slides that you can add in and remove so you can choose which option you want and all of them have a matching sound as well. And right in front of the TV there's a bench and it's a really great place to display different accessories and food items as well, but right underneath that there's a leg rest that you can choose to have displayed like that or else you can lift it up. I really love how it's styled the exact same as the chair so it matches perfectly. The set does come with some miniature toiletries along with the toiletry bag as well. The toiletry bag is purple and gold and I love how that matches the rest of the set as well. We have that American Girl Airlines logo too. It's clear so you're able to see what's inside and there's a zipper which lets it open and close so that keeps all the items in place. So first off we have two different bottles here. This one here is hand sanitizer which is important to bring on the plane. It's a blue color and this does open and close. So I'll place that over here and the next item is lotion and it has a label on the front. There's a toothbrush and that's gold to match a lot of the items in the set. And then this item here is actually lip balm. So we'll add that into the toiletry bag and the last item is toothpaste. So that's all packed, ready to go and we'll close that. And that's perfect for storing away. So for the toiletry bag, I'm just going to display it over towards the back here so it's out of the way. I might move it later on, but for now, I'm just going to leave it over there. So the other main feature item of the set is the chair, and I really like how it's not connected to the main plane item, so you can choose to display it however you'd like. So of course it's mainly purple, but there's some gold detail, including the star at the back, and we also have that American Girl Airline logo towards the side of the plate there that I didn't show earlier. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chair. The seat does lay down, not completely, I'd say three quarters, and then you can open it back up again. There's padding, and it's glittery and purple on the top and the bottom. There's also a seat belt as well with a piece of Velcro, which does allow it to open and close. And then there's also a tray as well, which is really great for food. So it opens like this, and then you twist it once you completely open it, and then you can add different food items to the set. So it opens like that. And then there's also a storage compartment at the back, which you can open and close too. So let's add a few different accessories over towards the storage section. So first off, there's a pair of socks. They're a lovely purple color, and we have the American Girl star in the middle, and here's what the back looks like. We'll place that right over here. The next item we have is an airplane safety instruction card. There's different photos in the front and also on the back as well, and the logo's at the bottom too. One of my favorite items in the set would definitely have to be the shopping magazine. It's featured on a lot of different airlines. It's really great. It's called Shopping on the Horizon. It says free shipping, and it features different sets from American Girl as well. So for example, if we open up this page, we have some headphones, there's also a watch, and there's a few different great gadgets and electronics on this page. This one says great gifts, and all of these items are available in American Girl. It's from the Around the World collection, and you can read about them, and also just talks about pricing and details too. So I'll add that in there and we'll go ahead and close this section. Now let's take a look at the different food options. So the set does come with a plate and a fork as well and it's on the tray. The tray is quite small for the plate but it seems to be staying in place. So there are two different snack options. There's a fruit bowl and there's also a cookie as well and the fruit bowl can be removed from the fruit pieces itself. And then as for the main meal, there's chicken, broccoli and rice. So here we have the chicken followed by the broccoli and then there's the rice as well, and there's also a clear lid to cover the food too. There are also a total of two napkins, and right now they're folded, so they do open up to have that American Girl Airline logo. I'm going to leave them folded in half for now, and I'll place that over towards there, and now it's time to style the chair. There's a few different items I'm going to be placing down. First off, there's a blanket, and it feels so much like a blanket that would be given on an airline, which I think is so awesome. It's a light purple pink color, it says American Girl Airline, and it's completely folded up, so I'm just going to have it like this, so it's displayed. There's also an eye mask too, and it matches the pillow perfectly. There is elastic on the back, so it should be able to wrap around the head. And then the last item we have here is a magazine. And it's exactly like a real magazine, except it's miniature size. It's quite small, so the photos and writing are quite small, but you can definitely read it if you'd like. And that can sit over towards the other side. 
Here we have an overview of the American Girl Airlines set. I love how interactive the set is. My favorite part would definitely have to be the TV with the interchangeable slides as it makes different sounds as well. Let's go ahead and start off by organizing this section here. So we have these compartments, which is perfect for storage. And as you can see, there are some items. So we're going to be moving them out of the way so we can close the compartment doors. So first off, we have this scarf. It's a gorgeous pink color, but that won't be a part of the setup. Then we also have this bag as well. There's a lot of detail to it. But let's go ahead and close both of these so we can continue to style the plane setup. And as for the section of the plane setup, we do need to move a few items around. So first off, we have this toiletry bag and it has different items like moisturizer, toothbrush, toothpaste. That's going to go over there. But for now, we're just going to move this can of pink lemonade over by the drink section. So there's some apple juice and orange juice as well. We can go ahead and close that. And what's interesting about this is that it lights up when you open it, I think that's really great. And it's also a really great option that you can close it as well so you can add some more accessory items there. But let's go ahead and add that toiletry bag back over to this section over here. And as for this compartment, we do have this leftover tray with some food items. So there's some shortbread cookies, but as you can see, the food is gone from the plate and then we have an empty water bottle as well. So let's move that out of the way as that won't be featured in the setup. Let's go ahead and style this section of the plane now. So first off, we have a tablet and it features a game of Sudoku. We're going to be placing that over by the TV section. And as for the leg rest, we can add a few smaller accessory items like these socks and this eye mask as well. Fits the items perfectly. And as you can see, it's much more organized and styled too. Over by the middle here, we do have some hats. One is themed to an outfit inspired by England and one is themed to an outfit inspired by Paris. Those are not going to be a part of the setup. So both of those will be moved out of the way. And as for this pillow, it's going to be added back to the chair, but there are so many items and accessories there. So we need to style and organize that before we can add the pillow back to the chair. This bag is not meant to be featured here. This is actually meant to be the headphone holder. The headphones are right over here. So we're going to swap this around. We'll just place this over by the bottom and then we'll place the headphones over by the headphone holder. And then as for this section, we just need to organize and style these pieces here. We have nearly styled the entire airplane setup. All we need to do is style the chair. So first off, we have an airline card that's going to go over by the side here. Then we have a few magazines as well. This one is about shopping. It shows different items you can purchase. Then we also have a classic magazine as well, which features this or that, different recipes and ideas. We're going to place those like that. And then we also have a travel book that can go right on top of it like so. You can see it's kind of piled together, but it's over by the side. We also have a neck pillow. We're going to move that out of the way. We won't be featuring it in the setup itself. And then we also have this blanket. All we need to do is style it like this. And all we need to do is put the seat upright so it's in a seated position. And then we can place the blanket over by the side. And as for the pillow that was featured earlier in the setup, we're just going to be adding that back over to the chair. And I love how styled all of that is. This little bag was a part of the overhead compartment, but we're going to be placing that next to this bag over here along with the scarf. I think it's perfect for the setup overall. And here we have an overview of the airplane completely styled and organized. It's not messy anymore. We've added all the different accessories and items to the correct spot. So we have the blankets, the pillows over by the chair, the magazines and books. Then we also have the different accessory items over by the other side too. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Jenny's Ice Cream Full of Flavors ice cream truck set that American Girl recently just released. Here we have the ice cream truck. So over on the top of the seat, it says Jenny's and then we have the main seat. It's very cushioned and plush and it's a really gorgeous rainbow design. We also have this strap over in the front here and there's a piece of velcro holding it in place we're going to be placing this green plastic compartment over on this door so what you do is you place the opening with the little tab and then you push it down and then it stays in place like that we're going to be placing the waffle bowls in that little compartment there's a total of three of them it's perfect for serving ice cream if you don't want an ice cream cone but you do want some sort of waffle holder so there's a total of three of those so we're going to place all of them stack like that in the box the next item we're going to be placing down is this little silver container. We're going to add it to the attachment and we're going to slide it down like that. And it's meant to be for the spoons. So there's quite a few apart of the set. They're made out of plastic and I love the pastel theme to them. So there's a total of six of them apart of the set. So there's pink, green, orange, purple, blue, and yellow. We also have a little plastic pink container we're going to add over on this door. We'll place it like that and we'll slide it down like so. And then we also have some bowls. There's a total of three. So there's three waffle bowls and three regular bowls. And we're going to just stack them over in this box. And as for this final compartment here, it is going to hold the waffle cone. So this is clear, it's more of a blue finish and there's some silver on the bottom. We're going to add it like that. 
and slide it down and there's a total of four waffle cones a part of the set. I love the detail of the waffle cones. We're just going to place them like that. We'll stack them and hopefully they all fit in the container. Just before we add some items to these compartments here, we're going to be setting up this little table. So you can open and close it, which I love. It's perfect for storage. So when you're completely done with it, you can close it or else you can open it up again. It doesn't open up too much, but just enough to place some ice creams and some accessories down. So the set does come with a gift card. It says Jenny's ice cream on it. Here's what the back looks like. It says American Girl. We're going to place that over there. And then right next to it, we're going to be placing down this phone. So the set does come with a phone with a little card reader attachment on the top and it comes in two separate pieces. And the reason why it's in separate pieces is because we're going to be placing the screen inside of the phone. So the screen is double-sided. So on this side, it talks about charging the Jenny's ice cream. So it says here the total is $12. And on this side, it's just a home screen with different apps that you'd normally see on a phone setup. And I love how the background is ice cream inspired. So we're going to choose this side to go with the Jenny's ice cream theme. What we're going to do is we're going to place that in the phone like that. Then we're going to place the backing just over the top. We'll place it there. It should click into place and it looks like the home screen's complete. And then we're just going to add the gift card like that. We'll place it so it looks like the gift card is making a payment. The set does also come with a little cover for the phone and there's a handle in the back too. There's also an opening on the top for the gift card screen holder. So we're just going to place it like that. We'll wrap it around like so. We'll place the gift card, and as you can see, this is completely set up, so we'll place that over there. The set does also come with five $1 bills, so we'll place that over in the middle. And there are also holders for the ice cream cone, so you're able to hold onto it, and they're made out of plastic. We're just going to add those right over there. The set comes with four pints of ice cream. They're perfectly miniature size, and they're all different flavors too. So this one is salty caramel, and it explains the flavor on the top and also on the side of the packaging too. So you can open it up, and it just looks like regular ice cream. But what I love about these ice cream containers is that you can remove it, you can place it on the top, and it just sits like that. So it looks like there's scoops of ice cream sitting there. So we're going to place that over there. We're going to be adding another pint of ice cream over on the other side. This one is Texas sheet cake, and this one's dairy free, which I love. They have dairy free options too. This is what it looks like inside, and you can do the exact same thing where you can have it open like that. We're going to place it there like so. Here's the other side of the Jenny ice cream truck. So it says Jenny's ice cream. This does open and close, and there's also a little table as well. I love the detail. It says Jenny's ice cream, salty caramel, and I love how that container actually comes with the ice cream truck set. So you can open this up, and it's a little half table, and you can completely open this tab up, and this is where the gallons of ice cream stored. So let's add the gallon ice cream containers. There's a total of four, and there's four compartments, so it's perfect one for each flavor. So the first one is black hat chocolate cake. So on this side, it's completely empty, and on this side, it shows ice cream, which I love. So you can place the lid like that, and you can add it into the set like that, or else you can flip it over to make it look like the ice cream is open, so it's ready to be scooped. So I'm going to leave it like that. Then the next one we have here is Brambleberry Crisp, and that's one of Jenny's ice cream's most popular flavors. It sounds so delicious, so it's empty on this side, and on this side we have a swirl design. We're going to add that there, and we're going to move this across, and we're going to be adding the other two flavors as well. So the next one that we have here is Wildberry Lavender. This is a flavor I would love to try. It sounds so delicious. This is what it looks like over here, and that's a gorgeous lilac purple color. Then the final one, a classic ice cream flavor, is green mint chip. It's plain on that side, and then we have this side. It has little chocolate chips in it, and it looks like it's mint flavor. There is a sign for each ice cream flavor. I've already added in the first three, Black Hat Chocolate Cake, which is here, Brambleberry Crisp, which is over here, Wildberry Lavender is the third ice cream flavor, and the last one is green mint chip. In case if you're wondering, they're all double-sided. So we're going to place it in the compartment. It's very easy to add in. You just slide it in like that, and it should just stay in place like so. And here we have the different ice cream scoops and flavors. I love how they're inspired by the four flavors featured on the top there. You can change around the waffle cones, which I love. So you're going to place that back there and you can change around the different scoops. They all fit into the different options. The set does also come with an ice cream scooper, perfect for the ice creams that are featured on the top here. We'll place that over in the middle and there's also two more pints of ice cream and they're different flavors. This one is the buttercream birthday cake. You can open it up and it has little rainbow confetti pieces inside of the ice cream. We'll stand it up like that. We'll place that there. And the other one is strawberry buttermilk, which sounds amazing. So we'll place the lid here and we'll go ahead and turn that around and we'll add that here. It's very similar to the Wildberry Lavender color, but you can see this is more of a lilac purple while this one is more of a pink. 
There's also a storage container that's made out of paper for ice creams. Here we have the back of the ice cream truck. There's three different flavors featured here. So there's brown butter, almond brittle. There's also green mint chip and brambleberry crisp. And there's a little storage container also on the bottom, which does open and close. Perfect for storing away some ice cream themed accessories. The set does say Jenny's on the front. There's some lights here, which do actually turn on and off, which I love. And the ice cream truck also plays some music too. And here we have the buttons for the music and the lights. And there's also adjuster as well. You can completely turn the entire set off or else you can have it on low sound or high sound, depending on what feature you want it. And then the wheel does turn here, but the steering wheel actually also turns the front wheel of the van. So if you turn the steering wheel one way, the wheel moves one direction. And then when you turn it the other way, it turns the other direction. There's only one wheel on the front of the van. And what's great about the wheels is that they do actually turn. So when you move the truck back and forth, the wheels actually make it go backwards and forwards. And I love this little speaker feature that's been added to the top. It's just for decoration, but I love how it just makes it look more like an ice cream truck. And here we have an overview of the Jenny's Ice Cream Full of Flavors ice cream truck. I would definitely recommend this out. I love the detail of the different items. There's so many different compartments for storage. I love the different ice cream flavors, and it's really great how they have the gallon tubs over on one side to make it look like you're scooping ice cream. Then they also have the smaller pint containers. We have the four featured over here. There's the different bowl options, the plastic bowl, the waffle bowl, and then also the waffle cones as well. And there's just different accessories that are part of the set to complete an ice cream truck setup. As you can see, this miniature ice cream truck is quite messy and unorganized. Today, I'm going to be cleaning it up and restyling it so I'm able to take photos for Instagram. So let's go ahead and start off with the first section of the truck. Over by the side of the door here, they have different compartments, which is perfect for storing away different items. So we have this large compartment here, which is perfect for storing away the bowls. And then we have this compartment here for ice cream cones. So we're going to move the ice cream scooper out of the way and we'll add that to the truck later on. And as for these bowls, we're going to place them in this container like so. And here we have the waffle cones. They're right now sitting in the spoon holder. So we have all the different spoons here. What we're going to do is we're going to move the waffle cones out of the way and we're going to add them to the holder over by the other side of the truck. Then we're going to add the spoons over in this compartment here, and I love how they're all pastel. The orange one is quite bright, but they're all so pretty. So we're going to place them here, and we also have another pink one we're going to add, and one more too. I love how there's regular plastic bowls. There's also waffle cones, but we also have these waffle bowls too, so you can put the ice cream inside of them. There's a total of three, and we're going to add them into this compartment here. And let's add the waffle cones to the waffle cone holder. Here we have the waffle maker. It's really great for the waffle cones and the waffle bowls. We don't need that for now, so we're going to close it and we're going to push that over towards the back. We also have a waffle bowl maker. What I love about this is you place the waffle bowl like this and then it's just the mold so it holds it together, but we don't need that either. So we're going to add that over here right next to the waffle maker. And then we also have the ice cream scoop that we found earlier. We're going to add that right next to it like so. This item is a phone, but it can also be a payment form for the ice cream. So there's a little tab on the top here. We have a gift card. We're just going to place the gift card like this so it looks like a payment is being made. Let's go ahead and move all of these items out of the way as they're not going to be in the front of the ice cream truck. There are quite a few of these large containers of ice cream. We're going to be placing that over towards the other side of the truck. So we'll be adding that in later on. We also have a bag, which is perfect as a cooler bag for the ice cream. So there's some ice cream we're going to be adding inside of that. And then we also have five $1 bills to we placing next to the phone. So let's add the five $1 bills over in this compartment in the middle. These three ice cream containers will fit perfectly inside of this bag. I love this bag because there's little handles and it's so stylish as well. So the first flavor we have here is gooey butter cake. The flavor that I'd love to try out of all of these flavors would definitely be this one. It's buttercream birthday cake. It just sounds so amazing. They all sound great, but that one would be really cool to try. And we also have blackout chocolate cake as well. So we're going to get the zipper. We're going to close the bag and we'll just place it over by the side of the truck. And we're going to be moving these three ice cream containers out of the way and add them over to the other side of the truck. So we have Black Hat Chocolate Cake. There's Brambleberry Crisp here. This one sounds really interesting. It's Wildberry Lavender. So we'll add all of those to the other side. These two waffle bowls with ice cream is actually going to go onto the table right next to the ice cream truck. So we'll move those out of the way and we'll add that back in later on. And as for these storage containers here, what we're going to do is we're going to close that one. We're going to add it in this and we'll shut the lid and we'll make sure the tape lines up like that. And we are going to place that where the ice cream containers were before. And it should fit perfectly in this space. These are the labels for the ice cream containers. So we're going to move those out of the way 
and we'll add those in next to those ice cream containers. But we actually have a stand for the waffle cones, so we're going to add those in there. So here we have the first one, and then the second one, and then the waffle bowl ice creams we found earlier, we're going to add them into the plastic bowl. So we have that one, then we also have the second one too, and we'll just style it so that the paper towels are just going to be over by the side there. Just organize it a little bit more, and as you can see, it's styled perfectly. There's different attachments here to add the different name labels for the ice cream. So the first one we have here is green mint chip, so that can go there. And then the next one we're going to place down is blackout chocolate cake. The next one is Wildberry Lavender. That can go over on the top in the corner. And then the final one is Brambleberry Crisp. And then all we need to do is add the actual ice cream containers to the ice cream truck. These little compartments are perfect for holding onto the ice cream containers. So the first one we'll be adding in is Green Mint Chip. The next one we have is Blackout Chocolate Cake. And then we'll move this across. And then the next one is Wildberry Lavender. And the last one is Brambleberry Crisp. And as you can see, the ice cream truck is all styled and organized. We have the ice cream displayed on the table with the different accessory items and the different compartments too. Let's go ahead and open and review the American Girl Hotel and Spa. As I show each smaller accessory item, I'm going to be setting it up in the American Girl Hotel and Spa so you're able to see the set completely styled overall. Now that we've unwrapped the packaging from the set, let's go ahead and take a look at the American Girl Hotel and Spa. So over in the middle, we have this bed set up. It does fold up, which is perfect for storage, and you can fold it down and it opens up to a bed. We have this frame here, so you're able to add artwork, and we also have this bed head here, and this is made out of plastic. This item is removable. It's made out of wood, and it's just meant to be for the mattress, so you can place it down like that so it stays in place. And then we also have this gorgeous flower design featured over at the front, and that design is featured on a lot of the accessories a part of the set. Let's go ahead and place the mattress down on the bed. It's this gorgeous light pink color. There's definitely a lot of pink accessories and items a part of the set, so it does match the theme to it. Then we also have a reversible comforter as well. There's two different options to choose from. So over by one side, we have this really pretty flower design. I love the pink and the green, and then over by the other side, it's a light green color. Between these two options, I'm going to pick this side with the flowers on it. And over by the back of the bed, we're going to add the pillows. There's a total of two. They say American Girl Hotel and Spa on them. They're pink and green, and we have that flower design over in the middle to match the bed. They're both styled exactly the same, so we're going to place them here like so. Over by the side of the bed, we're going to be placing down this robe. I love the detail of it. There's a gorgeous floral design to match a lot of the set itself. There's some pink over by the straps and in the middle of the set too. We're just going to place it over by the side here just so it's displayed like so. The set also comes with some pink slippers too. This side table here could be used in both the spa section and the hotel section of the room setup. There's some shelving units. It's made out of a lightweight plastic, and there's also a section over by the top to display some items. So we have a plant here that's going to go over by the side, and right next to it, we're going to be placing a glass of water. Right next to the bedroom, we have the bathroom section. There's a main feature mirror over in the middle, and as for the wallpaper, it looks like tile decor. And right below the mirror, we have the toilet and the sink. The toilet's over by one side, and you can fold it up, which is really great for storage. And then we also have the sink over here, too. The tap does move from side to side. We're going to add some items right next to it. So we have this bar of soap that's a part of the set. That can go over there. And right next to it, we have some hand and body lotion. There's also a toilet roll just next to the toilet. Over by the other side of the bed, we have this lovely design over by the back wall. So these curtains are printed on, they're not real. So they look like they're open and they're revealing this gorgeous window of this garden. There's trees, rocks, and there's water as well. There's a ledge over by the side here. This is printed on as well. It's not real. There's towels and there's a little plant as well. A spa setup would not be complete without a lounge chair. So this lounge chair lays completely flat. It is made out of plastic in case if you're wondering, so it is very lightweight, but you can have it also in a seated position as well. So this section does open up. So if you connect it to the first section, it'll look more of like a lounge chair rather than completely flat, or else you can place it in the second section and it looks like it's seated a little bit more. There are a total of four sheets of paper part of the set themed to the hotel. So we have guest services and it shows some of the features of the hotel, like the pool and spa. Then we also have a local guide. There's an invoice and there's different wellness activities as well. I have organized the sheets of paper into this folder here. There's a total of three different compartments, one on either side and one in the middle as well. So let's go ahead and fold it up and we'll just have it displayed over by the side here. 
I had the side table displayed over next to the bed, but I think I'm going to add it over to the lounge chair here just so we have a storage place for the towel. So we have the plant and then the ice water, and then we also have these two shelving units. So here we have the towel. There's a total of two apart of the set. I love this design. It says American Girl Hotel and Spot. It's completely plain for the rest of the set. What we're going to do is we're going to fold it up so it fits into the compartment itself. So we're going to fold it again and we'll add it like that. And then we also have the second towel here as well. We'll fold that up and we'll add that there too. And here we have an overview of the hotel section of the room set up with the lounge chair over by one side, the bed over in the middle, and the toilet and vanity section over on the other side. I love how there's different compartments and room setups within the room itself. So let's go ahead and style the spa section of the room. And here we have the other side of the setup. This design is perfect for a reception or a front counter area of a spa. So we have designs of towels, there's different products like sugar scrubs. There is a sugar scrub, a part of the set, but we'll set it up over by the bath. We also have this little design over in the middle as well. And then we also have a door design that says changing room. The front counter does take up most of the space of this front section, but here's what the back of the front counter looks like. So there's some shelving units and then we also have a back shelf too. And here's the front of the front counter. It says American Girl Hotel and Spa. There's a plant design. This is made out of plastic, so it's not actual plants. There's another counter here, and there's some shelving units on either side too. So let's add this item to the setup. It is a bottle of hand sanitizer. It does say hand sanitizer on the front, and here's what the back looks like. We'll add that over on the top shelf. And as for the bottom shelf, we have this item, and it is calming massage oil, and it's styled very similar to the body wash that we added over to the bathroom setup on the other side. Over by the back shelf, we're going to be adding in this pitcher. It has some cucumber water, and then we also have another glass of ice water. There's a total of two a part of the set. I'm going to be using some of the items a part of the spa setup that I already used in the hotel room setup, just to show you how you can use the accessories in both room setups. So we have this plant over here. We already added that to the hotel, but I'm just going to add it over by the side of the counter. The set comes with a monitor and you can move the screen up and down depending on how you'd like to display it. So we'll display it like that. And then it also has a screen and it's reversible. So there's two different options to choose from. Over by one side, we have a website that says, welcome to the American Girl Hotel and Spa, shows different rooms and suites and you can make a reservation. Then over in the back, it talks about the actual spa and the different services. So we're going to choose the hotel and spa. There's an opening over by the top of the monitor. That's where you place the screen and then you place it into the monitor like so. We already added this item over in the hotel section of the setup, but I'm just going to place it over by the front counter here. And then we also have a bell that's a part of the set. The back design featured on the wall is so pretty and perfect for a spa. We have some cherry blossoms and trees and there's some fountains and butterflies as well. There's a little shower head over the side here, but that's just for design. That's not actually a part of the setup. Then it says American Girl Hotel and Spa over there with a plant design too. The bath is a standalone item. It's not attached to the hotel and spa, so you can move it out of the way and you can add it over to the hotel side or display it over in the spa section. I have it over in the spa section and it fits in this compartment perfectly. There's a hot and cold tap. It does twist from side to side. It doesn't actually work. The bath is just for decoration only, but I love how they added this blue green plastic to make it look like there's water in the bath. I already had the towels displayed over by the lounge chair on the other side, but I just grabbed one of those towels so we can have it over by the bath like that. You can have the logo displayed over in the front, but one of my favorite items apart of the set would definitely have to be the sugar scrub. I love the detail of this item. So it does come with a lid. It says sugar scrub over at the front, but you can remove the lid. And there's actually an indent over in the middle to make it look like it has been used. I love the detail of that item because normally the lids are shut in jars and you can't open it up, but this one you can. Then we also have a spoon as well, and it looks like some of the sugar scrub has been added onto the spoon already. So we'll have that added onto the jar like so, just so it looks like it has been opened. And here we have an overview of the spa section of the American Girl Hotel and Spa with the counter over by one side and the bath over by the other side. What I love about the set is that we have the hotel section over by one side and the spa section over by the other side, and you can mix and match all the different accessories so you can style the setup however you'd like. For example, you could add the lounge chair over by this side of the spa section, or else you can add the bath over by the bathroom section of the hotel room setup. Hey everyone, as you can see, this room is quite messy and unorganized. I need to take photos for Instagram of this room setup, so today I'm going to be styling it up, cleaning it, and organizing it so we're able to take those photos. There are quite a few different outfits on the bed that need to go into the suitcase, but let's go ahead and style the suitcase first so we can add those outfits in. So we have this yoga outfit. We'll place that over by the bottom, but we'll move everything out of the way first. So we have these leggings, and I love the flower design. They're so pretty. There's some gold on it, so that can go over by the side. Then we also have this tank top. It says Namaste on it, and it has the same flower design as the leggings as well. 
that can go next to it. We also have a headband. And then as for the shoes, I think I'll place those in this bag here. So we'll add them there like that. So let's add the rest of the outfits to the suitcase. I've just moved the suitcase over here so we can continue to pack the items. These items here, the headband and then the gym towel will go into the bag that I placed the shoes in. So we'll move those out of the way for now and we'll add those to that bag later on. So here we have a few outfit options. It's perfect for the summertime. We have this gorgeous dress. There's a lovely flower design on it. And then we have this blue mesh over the top of it. We'll fold that up and we'll add that into the suitcase over here. Then we also have this travel outfit. This has to be one of my favorite outfits. It's a gorgeous purple color and there's some buttons over by the side as well. We'll fold that up. And we'll add that to the suitcase. And then we also have this tropical dress with some flamingos and there's some starfish designs on it and some flowers as well. That can go next to it. And let's add the gym towel and the headbands to this gym bag here. We'll add all of those items. And that is all organized. And we'll go ahead and close the zipper. This foot scrub is going to be placed over here, so let's move that over by the bottom shelf just so it's not in the middle of the sink, and then we'll organize it so the hand sanitizer is facing the front, and then we also have some lotion too. The phone and the plant are going to stay on the chair, so we'll just fix that up by placing that back together, and then we'll also add the plant right next to it. But as for these items, we're going to move them out of the way. We'll place this over by the side of the chair and the bed, and we'll place this on the bed. We're just going to be rearranging the shelving unit here. We're going to be leaving everything the way it is. We have these little eye cucumber masks, we're going to place the perfume bottle next to it. And then here we have a little powder set and I love how it's shaped as a flower. It is so pretty. Let's go ahead and open it up and we'll add that there. And then we also have this accessory item for it as well. There's some nail files. There's a total of two. And I love how they're so stylish. And then we also have a glass of ice water as well. So we're just going to add the shoes in between the bed and the chair here and right next to the little side table as well. And to complete the cleanup, let's go ahead and add the robe over by the side here. And here we have an overview of the room set up. As you can see, it's all organized and styled now, so I'm able to take photos for Instagram. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it.